Hey, so in this video, I wanted to walk you through getting started with Biobot Pro, which is an amazing piece of deal analysis software and it's an FBA calculator jammed full of lots of super useful features that you can use when you analyze products you want to sell on Amazon before you buy them, just to make sure that they are gonna work out really well for you, they're selling well, and lots of other things as well. So if you come to the Biobot Pro website, you'll have the features of Biobot Pro, so you'll have a list there. You've got the pricing, you can contact us, and you have a link to a free course, which is the seven day online arbitrage course from Arbiversity. So maybe you wanna follow this first, maybe you wanna do this at the same time as using Biobot Pro, um, but basically this is going to teach you how to get started with selling on Amazon, how to get from nothing to your first uh, shipment through to Amazon and your first sale potentially. So it's definitely worth looking into if that did sound of interest. So on the Biobot Pro website, if you click on start free trial, that will take you through to the pricing page. Underneath that as well, you've got book a demo. So if you click on that, you can join one of the sessions that runs all day long and it's a pre-recorded webinar that's about 50 minutes long and it runs, runs you through the entire software uh, and how everything works. So you might find that really useful before you go ahead and sign up. But with the free trial, that lasts for 14 days. So uh, you can use Bible Pro in full. Nothing is hidden or locked away or anything silly like that. So you can use Bible Pro in full for 14 days. Um, and hopefully you find that it's the best investment you ever made and you stick with it. So from that 14 day point, uh, you'll then be charged from that point onwards. Obviously, if you found that it wasn't quite for you, uh, please feel free to reach out to us at info at buywhatpro.com. Let us know and we can cancel the subscription for you. So the price plans, you can toggle between uh, the US and the UK if you want it in pounds or in dollars. And then you can also toggle between annual and monthly plans. So you've got the annual plans here, so you've got the total amount there. This is how much that it would basically be costing you each month, but you'd pay this amount at the bottom up front. And then you've got the monthly plans here. So you've got this price and then plus VAT, this is the price that you'd be paying. Now there is no difference between the two plans except for one has suspension safeguard and one doesn't. Now what suspension safeguard is, it's like taking out insurance for your Biobot Pro plan. So with this, from the point when you sign up onwards, if you have any issues with Amazon account suspension um, or anything like that, you'll have access to the Get Unsuspended team and they'll be able to help you with uh, the suspension issue that you may be having. So if you ping them an email, if you have this plan, they'll be able to assist you, send them everything that's uh, relevant to the issue you're facing and they'll do their best to help you out. They've helped hundreds of thousands of clients get their accounts reinstated. So it's definitely worth thinking about if this does sound like something you may want on your plan. It doesn't just have to be for if your account gets suspended, but let's say you had trouble with your communications with Amazon. Uh, let's say they send you uh, a series of emails and you're not quite sure how to respond to them, they can help you with that as well. Or maybe you've got a general query about your Amazon account health, what to do, what not to do, things like that. So for more Amazon like issues and questions, you can reach out to the Get and Suspend team with the suspension safeguard plan and they'll be able to help you. Regardless of what plan you sign up for, uh, you can always upgrade or downgrade any time that you choose. Uh, and the wonderful thing about these plans as well is that you get grandfathered into the price. So the, the price that you sign up for and you pay is the price that you'll be paying forever as long as you stick with us. So if you sign up at $34.95, so plus VAT, that's $41.94 on the suspension safeguard plan. Um, and let's say the pricing does change in the future and it goes up, you will still be paying this £41.94. That will not change. Uh, we honour the fact that you will be grandfathered into the price. So enough about that. Once you have decided what plan you want to sign up for and you've gone ahead and done it, you will get a welcome email come through sort of thanking you and a confirmation of your purchase and then you get your license key as well. Now what you need to do from here is obviously you will need Google Chrome in order to use Buybot Pro. So once you've done that and you have Google Chrome, maybe you've already got it, maybe you need to download it. Once you do have it open, head to the Chrome web store and download Buybot Pro. So we're just gonna do this from scratch again. So buy what pro Amazon FBA deal analyzer. This is your next step once you have signed up. So you need to download this Chrome extension. So to do so, just click add to Chrome. 
add extension. If it does ask you for any permissions at all, please allow it. Um, and then you'll notice that the Buybot Pro icon did just appear there. If it doesn't appear there and stick, what you need to do is head into the jigsaw piece icon here. See where it says Buybot Pro, pin that. When this icon is, uh, obviously you need this pin, but when it is blue, that means that Buybot Pro is on and it will appear. If you click it like this, it will turn gray. And that means Buybot Pro is turned off, meaning it won't appear on Amazon. So let's go through to Amazon. We've got the extension turned on, Buybot Pro will appear. So what you need to do here is enter in your Buybot Pro associated email and license key, which you will have received in your welcome email. If you are struggling to find this for whatever reason, you can always get these details from the support team at info at buybotpro.com. Just reach out to them and they'll be able to help you. The support is 24 seven. So don't worry what time or what day you reach out. Someone will always be able to get back to you and grab these details for you. So what you need to do is come here and enter those details in and then just press log in. And this will then take you through to the main Biobot Pro panel and you can get properly started with analyzing your items. So the first thing that I'd advise that you do is if you come to your Buybot Pro settings, definitely make sure that you've set up everything in your basic settings, okay? So here you can set your preferred marketplace. Then you can set uh, your VAT status as well. So here you've got non-VAT registered, standard accounting or the flat rate scheme if you are a UK seller. Uh, and if you are a US or Canadian seller, you can click on this and then you'll get this sales tax rate percentage button. So you just need to enter in whatever that is. Toggle that on. And this will be the default sales tax rate that you uh, would be working with when you are analyzing your items. And if we save and sync this. So as well, whenever you change anything in your settings, uh, always go ahead and save and sync. But if you want to apply that sales tax to your analysis, you just need to toggle that on there. But obviously that won't be there if you've set something like non-vet registered or standard accounting or the flat rate scheme. So after that, you then need to set your return on investment method. Now return on investment is exactly that, how much you're gonna be getting back on top of your initial investment. If you click on ROI calculations, you will see all of the different sums that Buybot Pro can do here. So you've got six different methods. Um, lots of people use ROI as a way of judging how well an item is going to perform. So you'd probably recognize method one, profit over product cost times 100. That's the most basic ROI sum uh, out there. So I'm sure if you Googled the ROI uh, sum as well, this would be the one that shows. But if you're in the UK, for example, would recommend method four. As you can see, it takes a lot more into account there, plus Amazon fees. So the ROI figure you're gonna get will be a lot more accurate. Um, if you are in the US, uh, again, we'd recommend something like method five. Again, a lot more gets taken into account there and it's all VAT exclusive. So select which one of these methods you would like to go ahead with. So method four. And then you'll also have the options to enter in any prep fee. So how much your prep center charges you. Uh, a bundle fee as well, shipping cost, and that can be per kilo or per pound. And you can toggle what fulfillment method you use most. So if you are predominantly FBA, you toggle it that way. If you're predominantly a merchant fulfilled seller, then you would toggle it this way. And this just changes the preference on the main calculator as to which way it's toggled. You can still toggle it whichever way you want to over on the main calculator. You can toggle it back in here if things change. Uh, then you've got your advanced settings. So in here, for example, you can set things like your uh, sort of any extra fees that you want Buybot Pro to take into account, uh, whether that's expressed in a regular value or a percentage is up to you. Uh, you can add in your stock capital, which is overall budget, any merchant fulfilled shipping costs as well, um, which will show up when you toggle to merchant fulfilled on the main calculator. Uh, so that way you can choose from one of these options or you can still enter in your own. You can pick uh, your European marketplace fulfillment setting as well. So whether that is PAN, EFN UK or EFN EU. Um, there's lots of different settings in here that I would advise going through first before you go ahead and start analyzing with Buybot Pro. But the most important ones are everything in your basic settings here. So definitely get those set up and then go ahead and look at the rest. Once you have set it all up to your liking, go ahead and save and sync. 
Another thing that I would recommend doing as well is with your personal Amazon Seller Central account, what you need to do is click on login. And I have just fast forwarded this as well uh, to avoid those login steps. Um, but basically you log into your Amazon Seller Central account and this is how the dashboard is going to determine its information because that's where it gets it from. It gets it from your Amazon Seller Central account. So this is how it will be able to tell um, if you can sell an item, if it is perhaps hazardous or considered to be a dangerous good because if you are enrolled in those programs then obviously it will all be okay and then it will also be able to check your eligibility to sell an item as well so that's if Amazon allows you full stop and then basically what you do is you'd enter in your buy price uh, and your sell price the sell price will automatically fill in for you and you can choose what it will populate in there in your settings so right now i've got it on the buy box price so it's filled that in for me and then i just need to go ahead and click on analyze and buy what pro gives me a full analysis of the item obviously because i'm not eligible to sell this item Obviously, there's no point going ahead with it, so that's why it's flagged up as, as a low confidence score and such. Assuming that we were allowed to go ahead and sell the item, obviously we can look at the rest of BuyBot Pro. We can see how much profit we would make. We can see how well the item sells with the charts down here. We can check out the competition. There's so much we can do with BuyBot Pro. So that is getting started with BuyBot Pro. Obviously, if you need any further help beyond this, please feel free to reach out to the support team. Check out our other YouTube videos as well as you'd most likely find them really instructive. At the very bottom of BuyBot Pro, you have a link to training videos which will show you how to do pretty much anything within the software. You've got the book a demo on the BuyBot Pro website as well. There's lots of help resources out there for you should you need it. I just thought it would be a good idea to run through the getting started steps if you are just starting with BuyBot Pro. We really hope you enjoy the software. Happy analyzing. Take care. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.